What up folks, it's G-Wave here, and we're back with another GTA 5 for the PS5 walkthrough. Look at that, there's a glitch over there. Those boxes, they're glitching out. But either way, we're going to do another mission for Steve Haynes. So let's go. So yeah, this is one of Trevor's bases of operations. This is his meth lab. Yep, this is where it all goes down. We were here in the beginning of Trevor's mission where we battled the Aztecas. See? They know where Trevor makes all his drugs and that. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? But because mm. you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm Sociopathic. Right. Say oh, it you're right. A hero. So Far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. God, I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, mm -hmm. tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere. Sociopathic best friend. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm. And a room full of you cuts. Yes. Woo! Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye, bye. Go f yourself. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. So yeah, like, we're gonna go rob a government bank. Like, I know every bank is owned by the government, but this is a specific government bank. Come on, hurry up, I ain't got all day. I can only record this video for like 50 something minutes. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Alright, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, 
this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, mm -hmm. whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho. He's not a psycho. Industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. Why are you out there? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You mm. should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic. Yeah, hipster Trevor hates hippies. I <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. Then the skinny lattes. And then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? A whole night. Come on, man, knock it off. What? Say, look how dirty Michael's suit is. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. I see. Look how dusty Michael's suit is. Even if you get a different clothes, this is the suit that Michael shows up in. Hey. So even if you wore yeah, something that's... different while you were at Martin's, this is the suit that Michael automatically had on. Take care of all your moisturizing needs. Shall we? Might as well get started. Yeah, other than that green shirt, Lester also wears a red Drive shirt. the entrance if the paperwork's correct the alarm will be a relic we should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening <laughs> oh, hey. idiota. Do idiota. that's the entrance to the bank nothing special It'll take us around back okay So yeah, what makes this bank unique is that this is a bank for crooked cops. This is why we're choosing to rob There's this bank, because that's where all the crooked no police officers right I like it. choose to hide all their money. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This will do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's going to cost more to break that system than the score is going to pay. We're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? 
It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. On it. Watch him use my slow mo. Okay, I brought my police scanner. to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. Mm -hmm. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Yeah, I mean, I'm sort of in between jobs right now. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, four in the ways. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Hmm. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Yep. Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not? We're still faster than your ass! I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. All right, so yeah. I always choose to play as Trevor when I'm doing this. So yeah, so this bank is not an ordinary bank. There are a bunch of corrupt police officers in this part of the state. Like, yeah, even though corruption is not as big as the events of San Andreas back when Tenpenny was alive, it's still a big thing today. Heck, we all know it's a big thing today. So because it's like in the desert and that, like there's this whole stereotypicness that like almost every cop from the South is like very corrupt. So either way, so this, that bank is where all the cops put all their illegal money from all the gangs from all the bribes that they made like that's where they put all their illegal stuff so yeah so it's no surprise the cops want us away from that place because they don't want to see their illegal money that they made So we just tested it out, we just shot the thing, and you can choose to play as either Michael or Trevor, but I choose to play Trevor because he takes the bike. So you just need to be a little careful because it's more risky if you play with the bike because you can fall off, especially with parts like this. So now we're going to get ready to stuff to do that mission. We're going to get Franklin involved. There's no dub Franklin's going to get involved.
Alright, we're almost there. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing some side missions off screen, like illegal races at Franklin and, you know, some uh, dealings with Oscar as Trevor. You know, stuff off screen. I'm trying to save enough money to buy some property so that way they can make money. What took you Jesus, so long? What took you so long? Had to let you win. Michael, a motorcycle can beat a car. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? All right. I'm going to stay here a minute longer than I have to. I never realized that Lester's watch was so I red. Think a little, uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Yeah, crooked cops. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Packy. Choose someone good. I got a good feeling about him. You sure this is the guy? Packy McCreary, yep. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, that's show. Uh, there, there, there is I one here, but it's completely destroyed. Watch, look at this. Well, Trevor, maybe you should stop putting stuff you just cooked in the fridge. Anyway. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. Oh, they're they back. I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Wow. So, yeah, guys, we're going to do, do now another Trevor mission. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. A lot. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this. This stuff. is starting to look like a house now. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? <gasps> no. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. Okay, I get it. Michael's so fat, but he's not that you fat. Out, you and your boyfriend. Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more of this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life, 
and you feel guilty about it, it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> You've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? But I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, yeah, sane, sane, wow. sane, sane, sane. Okay. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. Besides, to make it fair, Franklin called us. Instantly, think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Yep. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. There's nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Thank you. No problema. Gracias. So yeah, we're gonna go beat up the old Neils, guys. So what is Franklin doing for you? Anyway, he's tailing. Some guys, Mikey, tailing. Yep, here they are. Here are the old Neils. If he's back to Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Damn, these redneck fools know we own them now. That's right, Chop. We yeah, we got Chop, guys. He's gonna help us beat the crap out of these rednecks. Hey, man, me and Chop own these pumps. We're coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci Gondo. Well, one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Oh, oh shoot. shit. Watch this. Things are gonna happen now. Watch this, guys. Go get him, Chop. Oh, shit! Yeah, I never understood why Franklin said that now. Like, he says, oh, S, when the car Trevor flipped man, over. Shit, but he said it now man, when it stopped. Crashed out. They crashed. They dead? No, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. On our way, Franklin. Don't worry. Incoming. You shut up before I shoot you. You should know I'm Trevor Incoming. Phillips. Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the Sandy Shore, so... 
Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Yep, this is Trevor's helicopter. F the feds. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. A contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Ho ho hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow, ah, what's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. You don't wanna help, you can get out right now. All right, so yeah, we're gonna finish off the O'Neills, guys. Now the O'Neills aren't finishing are in the main story. This is the last time they're in the main story, but in online mode, they're still around. They're like side antagonists in online mode, where they're enemies towards Gerald, hey, hey. Simeon. Them in the so yeah. Oh shoot. Yep. Get him, chop, get him. Get him, Chop. Go on, boy. Go on, get him. Get up there, boy. Man, I wish we could have played as Chop more. Heck, I wish we could actually control him. No, no, don't get the deer, Chop. Don't get the deer. There he is. Trevor Phillips in the trees can fuck himself. Go get him, boy. Come on, Chop, eat him up. It's dinner time. All right, now that the angry hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh, sure. Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezos people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh man. Easy.
Come on, Franklin. Really? You're gonna get in through the other way? At least he acknowledged Chop's existence. Timer. See? At least Franklin agrees. So yeah, like, we just finished off the O'Neills, but in GTA Online, we still face them off. Like, yeah, the O'Neills are now no longer a family. It's more like a gang. Like, I think their cousins come and take it over, not the brothers. Because it was called the O'Neill brothers. Now it's just called the O'Neills. And the O'Neills are like this southern gang. Yeah, it has uh, to be in the spot or in nothing. Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're going to bar this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. So yeah, I need to buy some more air vehicles. Oh. All right, guys, they're going to come right now. I'm sorry, very soldiers that serve our country. But I have to take this. So yeah, guys, this is what we need. This is the military weapons that we need to do the heist. And the character I chose to help us was Packy McCreary. Yep, that's right. The same Packy from GTA 4. And I'll try to do GTA 4 one of these days. I promise, guys. I will. I just need to figure out how to record on my... On the Xbox. Heck, who knows? Hopefully... Hopefully, they make GTA 4 definitive or remastered mastered because seriously we have too much gta 5 they should have never remastered 5 they should have remastered 4 the ballad of gay tony and the lost and damned that's what they should have done all right we did it guys you know, I was nervous when I did this because I thought this was going to be like a three-star or four-star mission. But shockingly, 
We don't get any stars. And we stole from the military. Yet we steal a tow truck and we get mass stars. We steal a garbage truck, we get two stars. We did it. So what, stealing from the garbage company is more worse than stealing from the military? All right, we got everything ready, guys. We're about to do the heist now. Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves hmm. some military hardware. Spark up back to the my office. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Here we go. The next day. It's 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 not inappropriate. It's it's another hey, Packy. fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? Yeah. She's she's a sixty year old housewife. Wow, she's fifty seven, and she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Thirty years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. Mother. Hey, why? No. You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Oh, yeah, don't act like Packy exists. Here's the shot. Don't say hi to him. We're going to Palato Bay. We're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks yeah. for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, yeah. we go in, you grab the tape. You rendezvous with you, you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Packy. I chose Packy because he's going to answer some questions from four. Let's get this done. Polito Bay. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we're doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Ah, Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10 G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah. Yes, they were. Five years ago. Jesus. You, generic goon. What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. Listen to this. Spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. What is interesting is my biggest job, the Bank of Liberty City. Ah, shit. Yeah, I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul. My there we go. Michael, God rest his soul. We know and that. Boy Nico, who's probably dead too. We don't know what happened to Nico. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. That was a hard ass mission, man. Moving and shoot. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. Sounds like you were the right guy to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember, if he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? 
Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, and walked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. Yep. <laughs> ah, Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. Two G, take home on your first gig? Ah, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Dive pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cool, man. Learn to laugh Look, there's a lost MC You're up there. Turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah. Laugh, wouldn't hang out. Ugh, I've got my work. I've got my life. I never the two shall meet. Hey guys, it's me, Trevor. I killed your leader, remember? How about that? Die back. I killed Johnny. We're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. So yeah, you guys heard it from Packy right there. He doesn't know what happened to Nico. He can only assume that Nico is dead, but we don't know because Nico's actor, like Tommy's actor and Ryder's actor, had problems with Rockstar. So basically, that's why Nico left. All right, you know where you gotta be. His gotta existence is a mystery. Like you. yeah, just like Tommy and Ryder's actor, he left. His actor's no longer working with Rockstar due to difficulties, but. Either way, you, you guys can hear Derek, another character from 4, is dead. Uh, so Derek is dead. Right? Derek is Packy's brother. And there is a mission in 4 where Stop we had to, yeah, well, where we actually you had to, you know, choose to kill either Packy's brother Derek or his brother Francis, who was a corrupt cop. And many people, after hearing Packy say this, they're thinking, oh, right, so what, this means go. Nico killed Derek? No, this could mean anything. This could mean Derek overdosed on drugs. I really hope we return to Liberty City again and we meet the GTA 4 crew. I do know Jerry Three is in is in jail still. Jerry McCreary is Packy's brother, and he got life in prison in jail. Thank you, Packy. Okay, here we go. Look at all that money. We're gonna need everything we got down here. Okay, all of you stay down. Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Yep, here we go, guys. We're about to do something very epic now. This is one of the epic, most epic moments in the game. Yeah, you see how corrupt they are. No mercy. Oh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Here's how we talk as gentlemen. I love this part. <laughs> I am bulletproof. Can I some more? I love impersonating heavy weapons man from Team Team Fortress 2. Thank you. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Incoming! 
Bro, this is one of the most epic missions in the game. Yeah, every time we get shot, we lose money. We're bringing down the fences here, real and emotional. It wouldn't be a bank job if we didn't run into some friendly police resistance, would it? Lay down your very true, Packy. Very, very true. I'm saving this mini gun. Seriously, the guys have the army on their side. Yeah, this is a five minute mission. Bye, Packy. You take care, alright? So, yeah, Packy's leaving. Oh, shoot, I need to hurry. Almost there, almost there, come on. Later, Packy. You take care, all right, man? Yeah, yeah, Packy gave them his money. Packy's gonna distract them, but he gave Michael, Trevor, and Franklin their, his cut.
Yeah, if you, this is a five-star mission. Come on, come on! That little piece of concrete really stopped me. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I thought you were a soldier. This ain't worth it, guys. Just go. Big smoke. Hard for me to not think of big smoke whenever I think of a train mission. All right, guys, this is where we make up. What the? What happened? Damn it! All because you also. Sorry, Franklin. Just stay behind me and keep up, will you? Thank you, Packy. Can you hurry the hell up? Come on. Shit, the whole reason why we failed the first time. It's called an army for a reason. Seriously, Franklin, you ask really ridiculous questions sometimes, like, how many people are in this mafia? How many people are in this army? Come on, cool off fire. Trevor, don't walk on the fire. Franklin, hurry up. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Right here. Get on. Ah. 
Whew. That was an epic mission. Seriously, like I found it stupid that I failed because Michael and Franklin couldn't keep up with me. But either way, we did it anyway. Let's go. Packy made it out easy, safe. Easy. I'm a friendly Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. Look, careful, it's Obama's buddy. cousin. We are, uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. If you Seriously, Sanchez way, looks just like Obama. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. Yep. Here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Yeah, can you give us two more, please? I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the World to go. Catch Come on, give us okay? two more. Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Hey. Come on. Serious. Whew, that was an epic heist. Let's Oh wow, that that's not bad. Look at that money. Now we we got paid four thousand forty four thousand dollars, yeah. Four hundred forty-four thousand dollars with that, and yeah, this was this was nice, guys. This was a fun mission. Like, yeah. So now Michael in total's got six hundred thousand. So yeah, this was a fun mission. I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys too. So yeah, like that was a nice score. We did a nice mission. Excuse me, my bad. That was a nice heist, and I like that we got Packy because he told us a bunch of stuff that happened in GTA 4. Again, I'll try to play 4 one of these days, I promise, guys, I will. I just need to figure out how to record on Xbox because it's more easier on PlayStation. Because I can edit my clips on my PlayStation, but either way, I found this mission fun. We, killed, we finished off the O'Neill brothers, the O'Neills are no longer going to bother Trevor. And we just robbed the the big heist. Like, that was the first five-star mission we did in the game. So, yeah. And we're going to do more stuff. We're going to do a lot more stuff later on. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Hmm, I don't think Trevor mind if I take some meth. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked this gameplay. And this was a really fun heist. I like we got to play with Packy again. And I really liked it. I, my favorite part was when we got the minigun. Like, that was my favorite part. Every time I got the minigun, I always pretended I was Heavy Weapons Man from Team Fortress 2. So, yeah. Chef, my man. How you doing? Hey, bro. What's going on? Okay, ain't gonna say nothing to me, Chef. Are you upset and not you for the job? Okay. But either way, I liked it. This was a fun job. And I had mad joy doing all this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. This was a fun heist. And I really liked fighting the army. So don't worry, we're gonna be back next time. So like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time when we do yet another GTA 5 for the PS5 walkthrough this is g wave signing out i hope you guys liked everything trust me i do everything to entertain y'all i just want to entertain people and yeah so check out my tiktok my instagram and talk to your loved ones because things are getting dangerous out there a lot of people getting robbed and let's not forget what's going on in the world now so be safe and check out my tiktok and instagram if you want to see other stuff share the video to help support the channel this is g wave Signing out. Peace and have a good day or night depending what time you're watching this. Bye and stay safe. Later.